Hi, right, how are you doing today, folks? Uh, my name is Frank Corbin from Rimic Realty. I'm here sitting with um, Jelani Daniel. Uh, we're discussing his new creativity idea. It's called Forward March Life Quote. Uh, this is a Jelani book he just released, and uh, he's doing extremely well. And uh, I got myself a copy and read it, and it's amazing. Um, a lot of life quotes that can, can change your mindset, can uh, wake up to a bright new day, and maybe change the path you're gonna go on um, in, in the morning, you get up on a bad morning and you'll say, let me read one of these quotes to see what can really motivate me or inspire me or do something differently today. So welcome, Julian and Daniel. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing well. Excellent. Great. It's great to be here, Frank. Um, mm -hmm. As you know, we've been friends for over 15 years. Absolutely. And I've yeah. always admired what you've done. And uh, what, the one thing about Frank that I love and I appreciate, yeah, I got a call from Frank last night and Frank is like, I see you're doing videos. Um, he stated to me that I was doing it, I needed a little bit more lighting. He did not insult me that I was new to the game of doing videos. What he did was he suggested some things to assist me, and that's what the Forward March movement is, is really about. Absolutely. It's Absolutely. about extending a hand, and when you help someone, you don't help them in a manner where you insult them, right. you, you uplift them. You don't have a comment unless you have a solution. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. and that's, that's more or less it. As for my book now, uh, Forward March, I've put a lot of heart and a lot of energy into this book. And what I will be doing and what I've, I've been doing over time is when I start discussing my book, I like to let people to be aware of the Forward March mantra, the idea mm -hmm. behind it. And I'll give you guys a quick read in regards to that. Uh, the Forward March movement is built on a behavior towards others. It is not guarded by race, wealth, or education. Anyone can take up the leadership. I continue to push the doctrine of helping each other as it's a natural commitment that is not bought nor sold. Forward March. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. So that's what the Forward March movement Correct. is about. Um, now, how do you come up with the idea of Forward March? I, <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a very good um, question. For me, what, I, what occurred to me is in life, I, I've, I've always felt like uh, I've always been running. Like, for instance, you're trying to survive, you're trying to do everything right. with your social life, your financial life. You're always on edge trying to get things in order. Right. And what I found out with, with that was uh, at one point I just got fed up. So I got fed up and I'm like, I don't want to run anymore. And right. I, I want to make a commitment that there's no running. We're, mm -hmm. we're standing firm. Yeah. And we're, f we're moving ahead. And that's what Forward March means, that you, you move ahead. You will get resistance, but the point is we're moving ahead because we do not want to give our lives up to running. And that's the idea behind it. Is it been difficult to move ahead? It has been difficult uh, because we have many challenges uh, that come up. Uh, you have, you have, it's, uh, what the challenges is based on misconceptions, right? So. Right. These things come up when you're in your regular life. It's hard to see when you're surviving. It's very hard to see beyond your survival. Right. So our goal with Forward March is to align ourselves with like-minded people. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's break the idea of survival. It is a waste of time. Right. No, there's no one gets any facts or any strength off of survival. So let's eliminate that. And the only way we eliminate that is by working together and feeding each other correct information. Like for instance, in your business in which you do real estate, you've been doing it for years. Right. You've been battle tested and you have the results. So mm -hmm. if you're looking for real estate information, we need to be able to reach out to a gentleman like yourself and get right. the correct statement. Absolutely. And Absolutely. not just on YouTube. That's another thing that I'm, I'm fighting against. A lot of us are, we're being, um, how should I put, engulfed with people with the great videos, the great statements, but they have no track record. Right. So I, I do not like to be put up against anyone that doesn't have a track record. Right. So it's you only like get involved with people that have some form of successful yeah. results. Correct they track records, okay. correct. Excellent. So what have you done? After you went through these challenges, what have you done to say, listen, uh, I'm going to take this to the next level. So rather than survival, what have you done to actually start moving forward or actually forward marching? Oh, yeah, that's, <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Yeah. So the, the first step was getting the book organized. So the book is on Amazon. Right. So I completed the book. I live by the mantra. So for instance, anyone that knows me, I've been doing this from the time I was young. Like for instance, I just, I get more excited helping others than even helping myself. Right. If you know, for instance, when you do it for yourself, it's... How should I put it? There's only that much energy. Mm -hmm. Whereas when you know you're helping someone 
and you're energizing them, the feeling you get, I can't buy that feeling. And it energizes me to be stronger in my life. So I am in actuality getting more out of it mm -hmm. from helping someone than the individual. Excellent. Again, folks, uh, I'm Frank Corbin. If you're just tuning in, I'm here sitting with Julani Daniel on his Ford March program. Uh, it's about life quotes, um, stuff going to inspire you, uh, energize you in the morning. And all you need is one simple positive word to give you a very, very good day. Now, Julani, why life quotes? Because uh, you, you, you can write a book on so many different things, right? Because you're involved in different businesses. Yeah, for sure. Why life quotes? Because this is really totally different from what the business you actually really do. For sure. Yeah. As you know, I'm a car dealer. And yes. it's, a, it's a complete different, um, different business. Mm -hmm. uh, what I liked about this is uh, I found that I've been in the car business for over 15 years. I've, done, I've sold over thousands of cars. So when I'm speaking, I'm not speaking based off of kumbaya stuff. And what right. I use by kumbaya is it's actual work. <laughs> Real value. Absolutely. Real value. Yes, we, exactly. yeah. We've done it. We've... We've done it numerous times. We've challenged the best mm -hmm. and competed in, in all different fields. Right. What I found, I was being restricted with that business. I was being restricted because of the thoughts of what people think of a car dealer right. and stuff like that. So when I am doing my speaking, and when I'm speaking, I'm limited. You, you continue to see me as just as a car dealer, right. and I am far, far away from that. It's mm -hmm. just something in which I liked, and right. I embraced it, and I wanted to be good at it. Right. So I, I chose the book because... The book is something in which I could get my message across the world. I'm not limited. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could, I, in fact, I put quotes up and I have people from Russia liking my quotes. I have people <laughs> from Bulgaria. Whereas if it was a car, it's limited to one area. To the GTA or yeah, Toronto, so I'm Canada, just, yeah. I, I want to be great. I right. don't want to be simple. I mm -hmm. want to be great. And this is one of my venues okay. to go about. So it. the book was written in order to help people be inspired and also. Um, take your, um, your vision and view to a next level so they can see you differently. And another point of it was the book was written because when I was going through my challenges and stuff like that, uh, when you go through your challenge, you have to find a way how to, to take them. Mm -hmm. you, some people drink, some people, whatever, whatever right. you do, that's your concern. But you, what I did was sometimes I would interact with a client or I'll interact with a situation in life mm -hmm. and then I would get the clear quote in my mind immediately. Mm -hmm. Like the quote would be my answer right. to the solution. Mm -hmm. So I started to document them, mm -hmm. and then I continue to do that. Well, I was, I was reading through this stuff um, last night, and uh, <laughs> you're really deep with this stuff. Thank right? you, man. Uh, it's uh, my I'll, passion. I I'm going to read, read one of the quotes. It says, um, if the, the more you trust yourself, um, the less you worry about trusting others. That's yes. really, really deep. What yeah. do you mean with that? Uh, to tell you the truth is, if you interact with someone, even mm -hmm. in social media, right. everyone is always saying, um, oh, don't trust this person. They're going to get you. They're going to do that. Right. But if you're comfortable with yourself, you would identify that individual. Mm -hmm. You'll see their behavior by the comfort you have in yourself. Mm -hmm. So while you're putting all this energy in worrying about this person, mm -hmm. you're really putting yourself at a detrimental because... Right. You should know, like for instance, when I'm around someone, mm -hmm. if they do certain stuff, if they speak to me a certain way, according mm -hmm. to their results, their action, right. I'm like, the answer is right there for me because mm -hmm. I trust myself and my decision. How does a person start trusting themselves? Because people seem to have a lot of, um, it's easy for me to say, I don't trust you. Yes. I don't trust him, I don't trust her. Okay, for whatever reason, based on how you react to me, talk to me, experience with you, right? And, uh, and you're saying here, the more I trust myself, is the less is the more I would trust others, or the less I would I distrust others, right? Yes, hundred uh, percent. Right. So how do a person get to the level of actually start trusting themselves? Um, what what I found out with most people is that you have to take losses. So trust is about losses first mm -hmm. and foremost. Right. So when I put my trust in someone, I put my trust in someone with the best intention. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I win, sometimes I lose, but I found I was I get stronger the more I trust. Right. The results are better. Mm -hmm. I just get better results because I I have a firmer understanding of myself. Right. So you you can't keep yourself in a box mm -hmm. and protect yourself from the world because right. the world is out there and your growth is dependent mm -hmm. on you trusting others. Right. It's so just start take baby steps, uh, get out of the psychology of not trusting others. It's, mm -hmm. it's so illogical. How people have put trust in you for no reason. Right. So why can't you start doing that? And we need to do that to uh, reinforce our strength. Right. That's very good. And uh, talking about trust, uh, I always tell people, um, for the most part, that 
when you start trusting yourself more, it also have a ripple effect towards your self confidence and self esteem. Oh, geez, it's right. Uh, that's uh, you. You pinpoint such a great right. thing, and also the feeling of having self esteem and having that your own energy. Mm -hmm. There's no there's no price to that. Right. There's no price to that. That feeling you could have no money. You could have whatever position you're in. Mm -hmm. The feeling you get when you have self confidence. It can't be bought or sold. Same thing. So right. we need to work on that because sometimes you don't have the money, mm -hmm. you don't have the resources, but the only way you're going to get to any place of comfort is through confidence. Right. And again, back to trust. Yes. Excellent. I'm really not a coach. I say, if you win all the battles, if you win all the battles, you will lose the war. Yes. Wow. That, <laughs> that really confused me. Like, if you win all the battles, I thought if you win all the battles, you win the war. No, but you, you don't. you said if you win all the battles, you lose the war. So what is it about now? You don't. Um, in my life, for instance, uh, sometimes I've been engaged and I've been engaged with, you know, negative thoughts or whatever the case is, negative conversations. Mm -hmm. And so majority of the times I will let that go because it boils down to even another quote in which I have in my book. I've got big dreams. So I don't want to, I don't want to waste all of my energy mm -hmm. having a war. I mean, having a fight that, that is not going to let me win the war. Right. So you, every, every time there's a battle, you should not position yourself to win because sometimes you expose yourself for mm -hmm. one right. because now you've allocated energy on, an, on a battle or a fight that is, is of no value. Right. It makes no, you don't win when you just fight for no reason. Mm -hmm. When I fight, I, I have to have an objective. Right. I need to have a goal. I don't want to fight for no reason. I waste my resources, mm -hmm. your energy, and your mindset. So pretty much you breaking it down to pick your battles if you really pick want to it. win the you war. Really want so you want to get involved in battles that contribute towards winning the war. You hear that, folks? <laughs> Only get involved in battles that Make get sure. you into winning the war. And now we're back again. This is yo, 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 got trust issues in this book, bro. <laughs> Here's another one on trust. Julianne said, he says, teams have the most questions about trust. Yes. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that one is big. <laughs> no, that one's a big one. Uh, that one's an enjoyable one. As I said, I'm in the car business for many years, mm -hmm. and uh, I would encounter clients, and they're looking at me, and they're like, this guy's gonna get me. Right. <laughs> this guy is gonna get me. And they're emitting this energy. And most of those deals where someone has complete mistrust in me, right. mm -hmm. after I've reviewed the deal, mm -hmm. and for instance, I would be like, for, just as a basic, someone comes and they're mm -hmm. like, you know what? I'm limited on funds in mm -hmm. regards to the deposit. Right. So the person would come and they would energize me with oh um, is my car going to be okay and everything like right. all the comments of mistrust right so now in my heart i'm like okay let's mm -hmm. let's do my best to make this person feel comfortable Absolutely. so Absolutely. it could be as basic as you're supposed to have had a thousand dollars down mm -hmm. you only have five hundred dollars mm -hmm. so i said you know what let's let's have a payment plan right give me the five hundred dollars and then then you know, delivery, proceed. You get, you yeah, 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 you know, you can be after a month or so. Right. It never worked out. Majority of the times, so it the does not work out. The person who in the first place, they never fulfilled their. Demand. They're part of it. Right, never, price. yeah, they never right. fulfilled. Right. Um, because what I found out, the buzzing of that mistrust was mm -hmm. based on themselves not trusting themselves right. in their character. Right. Because if you trust yourself, you speak in a different manner. Whether. It's like someone, whenever you, you shouldn't have to discuss who you are. Right. It should be shown over action. Let me, from, from the viewer perspective, let me give a different twist to this same situation. Yeah. What if the person um, had been outwit by a previous car experience? Which is fine. Um, you're supposed to bring your, your past experience. But the great thing about vehicles now mm -hmm. is that what I do to make my clients comfortable right. is, for instance, if you buy your BMW from me, mm -hmm. I'm not a mechanic. I buy these products and we resell them at a small profit margin. Right. Simple. Mm -hmm. We get the vehicle, then we bring it to BMW. So you pay BMW. That's why I use the big guys as my truth serum. So what I would do, I say, so bring the vehicle to BMW. They're not my friends. They're right. not my buddy. Right. Pay them whatever they request, small mm -hmm. amount. They inspect the vehicle mm -hmm. and then they give you the rundown on that vehicle. So don't trust what I'm stating. Trust, BMW, is, trust the BMW is the manufacturer. manufacturer, and that's what I like to do. I like to direct people to the person who's best versed at that item. Don't right. have a conversation and be comfortable with. Do your diligence so right. we both could be happy. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And that's, that's what it boils down to, diligence on both parties, because mm -hmm. I want you to be happy, and I need to be happy. Right.
Yes. Okay, so there you go again, folks. <laughs> Teams have the most questions about trust. Maybe Junior and Daniels be talking about his book, Forward March, uh, based yes. on life quotes. A lot of quotes here. We're just going through a few of them, but there's tons of quotes in here that can probably inspire you on a daily basis, change your um, situation, change your mindset. Yes. Maybe change the, way, change the way you trust car dealers or trust yourself <laughs> yeah. in, in the future. 100%. And uh, I'm going to go to one more because um, some of the stuff I'm going to is stuff I think that that was different, that made me think, hey, what is he actually really saying here? What does he actually mean? And I'm here sitting with him live, it's best to ask him, what's his intention when he said to write these quotes? Yes. And um, the, the final one really says, the more you complain, the quieter your voice, um, the quieter your voice gets. Yes. You know, this is totally different from what I understand. I heard the squeakiest, we get the most grease. You say no. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm completely against that one, like mm -hmm. meaning I, I stand firm with my my right. quote. So the, the more you complain is the quieter your voice gets. What do you mean by that? Yes. Uh, when it's, it's a new, normal human behavior. For instance, if my, if an associate of mine calls me and they mm -hmm. say they need help. Right. So immediately my, I'm energized. Mm -hmm. Where's the help? What do you right. need? I'm mm -hmm. energized. I'm mm -hmm. ready to go. So <laughs> my thought pattern is let's go. Let's resolve this problem ASAP. So now I get energized mm -hmm. and then I come to the rescue and Either you're not ready for the rescue or it's a false call. It's, right. it's not correct. Then you do that again. Every time you do that, my energy to come yes. to your rescue, it goes less. Right. Then it comes to a point where I no longer hear you right. because you're, you're calling me and you're asking for my energy and you're not using it appropriately. Right. So you have to be careful when you continue to complain because it's a normal human behavior to shut down. Right. Because course. every time you, you, it takes so much energy to listen and to be willing to assist someone. Mm -hmm. You can't draw on that energy all the time. You're gonna suck that energy out of that person. So you hear that, folks? Stop complaining. Stop complaining. If you complaining. need Julani energy, make sure you need it when you call him. <laughs> yes, uh, 100%. Very important. Because yeah. after two times, you can stop taking your calls. Very and and you, you know that's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> now, so um, so how could they also get access to the book? They like uh, your quotes, also get access to a copy uh, of this the book. The book is on Amazon.com mm -hmm. and, and Amazon.ca. Uh, feel free to get it as I said it will be on Kindle shortly mm -hmm. and we're just excited about this book it's a movement as I said it's just trying to assist people mm -hmm. to better themselves and it's something in which I'm committed to it is in it's my lifestyle it's not something that it's not uh, I'm not selling an item in which I'm not proud of I'm extremely proud of my right. work and I stand by it and my success is based on your success and and again before we finish I like to thank you Frank mm -hmm. because at the end of the day You've always extended a help towards me. Oh, and mm -hmm. as I said, I've known you for 15 years. Yeah. People are unaware of what you do, meaning you're, you're very good at your craft, which is real mm -hmm. estate. This is what you do. And you've been doing it for years with battle-tested efforts. Absolutely. So again, thank you. And also, mm -hmm. I'll go back again. Thank you for calling me last night and, and giving me positive uh, cr criticism. Mm -hmm. And it, it made my heart. In fact, guys, I was so excited to, to sit down with Frank. I woke, I, I woke up like three times last night yeah. just out of excitement because this is what Forward March is, is reaching out to your fellow friend and associate right. and course. helping them yeah. become better because Absolutely. that's the main point. Right. And again, thank you and I appreciate this interview. No You're welcome. All right. Next thank thing, you. Sir. Again, folks, Forward March, Life Coach, very simple. Baby steps, baby steps, baby steps, baby steps, moving forward. My name is Frank Corbin from McTV. Julian Daniels, Forward March's book. You can pick it up on Amazon.com. Thank you to your success. Take See care, you. guys. See you then.